on, handsome. We've got work to do. You'd think he was gonna flirt with the cows instead of punching them. Pretty enough would do no harm to a certain funny face I could name. Good rooks never made a cow hand lay a loop any straighter. No? Well, you notice I didn't miss any of my throws yesterday. That's more than a certain old mossback can say. Are you trying to insinuate that I'm a mossback? Why, you young whippersnapper. I've learned better men than you all they ever knowed about punching cows. <laughs> it was me that first shoved a gun in Bill Cassidy's hand. If you're spouting off about Bill Cassidy again, you can save your breath. Cassidy, Cassidy. That's all I've been hearing about around the bar 20 since you heard he was heading up this way from Texas. You folks act like he was all the aces in the deck. What you so head up about, kid? Afraid Bill Cassidy will steal your thunder when you meet up with him? I can take care of myself. I always have. You take my advice, young fella. You walk soft when Cassidy's around. I reckon him and me will get along fine. If he keeps his place. Don't get salty with Bill Cassidy, kid. He'll jerk a leg off you and spank you with it. Hey, Red. Johnny. Hi, Buck. Hi, Buck. One of you boys get over to the West Cooley and drive those H2 cars back across the creek. They coming over again? Oh, just a few strays, but the first one you know, they'll have their whole herd over on us. That new owner don't seem to be very clear on where his range ends and ours begins. Maybe we'd better put him straight. All it needs is just a few words of explaining between him and me. Well, in the meantime, I'll chase those doggies back home. Scrappy young rooster. <laughs> I'll bet my saddle blanket he's in a mix-up before sundown. Careful now, son. Don't get into any fights. <laughs> you spoil this whole day. Oh, we don't want no trouble. I'll still let my bet ride as she lays. Put up that pop gun, miss. It might go off. How dare you stampede our cattle? Well, I'm just shooting them back where they belong. I reckon you must be Miss Meeker. I am? I'm Johnny Nelson for the Bar 20. I don't care who you are. You let our cattle alone. But, ma'am, this is Bar 20 rain. That's what you think. Our cattle have as much right to it as yours. Oh, you're wrong, ma'am. Each outfit has just so much water and good grazing range. And besides, there's lines. But that... this is public land. And if my father... Well, you'd better tell him to learn where his range ends. My father knows how to mind his own business. That's more than you do. <laughs> I do, all right. <laughs> hey, you! Get out of there! Don't get men, please. Will you let go. Drop that gun. Get him up. Got a loose with that shooting iron, ain't you, Mister? You're mighty lucky it was only your horse. Next time you pester Miss Meeker, it'll be a different story. Miss Meeker don't need any sneaking pot shooters to protect her from me. You better start walking home, Mr. Bar 20. I'll see you on your way. You ain't giving me no orders. Up high. Thanks, stranger. What's the play? This don't concern you. I don't like to see human beings getting tramped by a horse. It upsets my peace of mind. Pardon me, miss. 
Which side are you on? It's just a misunderstanding. Mr. Anthony, my father's foreman, thought that Mr. Nelson was annoying me. He's a sneaker. What right have you... Wait a minute. Appears to me that you two boys had better kiss and make up. Been no harm done. I don't reckon the young lady want to see you throwing lead at each other anyway. A skunk creased my horse. Well, in that case, I reckon this gent be glad to lend you his. Get off, hombre. Walking's good. You have no right to steal Mr. Anthony's horse. It ain't stealing, miss. Just a fair exchange. Then you can ride home with me on mine. That's what I'd call a privilege, ma'am. Ah, uh, keep the cayuse. But next time you walk. I wouldn't be hasty. Put it away. And in case you want to take this up later, you'll find me at the bar 20. Cassidy's the name. I'll remember. So you're Bill Cassidy. Yep. Came just in the nick of time, didn't you, Mr. Cassidy? Cassidy, Cassidy, that's all I've been hearing ever since I joined the bar 20. <laughs> it's all right, son. No thanks needed. Maybe someday you can back up my play. I'll be looking for that chance. Want to lift over to the ranch house? Come on. Tell him! Yes, boss. You got any cold milk? Yes, sir. Well, go and get some. You want milk? Yes. Him too? <laughs> Yes, him too. <laughs> 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 this creek marks the north limit of the H2 grazing land. Well, there's no talk about boundaries when I bought this place, Peter. My cows need water, they're going to get it. Dad, those bar 20 men are driving our cattle back from the water. It's our water, miss. And you'll find my men plum touchy about strange cows grazing our range. Dad will run his cattle where the grazing's good. And if you don't like it, just try stopping him. <laughs> my feelings exactly, Peters. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. But when you buck that line, you come ready for plenty of trouble. Yes, we know what to expect. Miss Mary and I just had a sample of it from Cassidy and Nelson. Oh, Cassidy, eh? Well, I'm back in Bill Cassidy's play now or any time. He'll need your backing. You're a stranger in these parts, Mr. Anthony, so let me give you a little hint. If you want to go on enjoying our fine climate, you'd better stay on your own range. Get it? My foreman takes his orders from me and from nobody else. Make it easy on yourself, neighbor. Shoot first and argue afterward. That's my advice. They're a bad lot, that Bar 20 outfit. Now you tell the boys I don't want them to start anything. If trouble comes, they can count on me. That's the stuff, Dad. There's a milk boss. Oh, I don't want to know. Ain't it going to look kind of funny, you riding in double? Pull up. I'm getting off here. Yeah? You never was going to get here. <laughs> well, Red Connors, you Why, old horse thief. You mangy old coyote, you. It's good to see you. Now I know I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bill, how did you happen to meet up with the kids? Oh, oh, he was the kind of a ruckus and I happened to be riding by. Yeah, I reckon it was a good thing for him you were riding by. <laughs> Say, there ain't no call for you spouting off about what you done for me. I thanked you, didn't I? Young fella, somebody needs to teach you some manners. Well? Whenever you feel lucky, you can try. Oh, he's a good kid, Bill. A little mite hasty. Same as you when you was his age. <laughs> I reckon me and the young hothead will get along. Sure. <laughs> Come here, I've got something for you. What is it, Freudy water? No. 
Music box? No. What is it? Well, take a look at her. You like it, Uncle Ben? Like it? It's a lot of blues. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Here you are, Ed. Thanks, Uncle Ben. I've been wanting to pipe for a long time. Third thing ain't drawed in five years. Ed, <laughs> 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 will you take my horse over for me? Sure thing. Okay. Buck will sure be glad to see you. Yeah, I'll be glad to see him. Bill? There's trouble brewing. Yeah, I know. I smell it. Let's see how she looks. How is she? Slicker than a brook trout. <laughs> Good! <laughs> Let's load her up and see if she draws all right. I'm following the star through the tumbleweed and fall. I'm falling. for 25 years. Seen as how it's you, I'm going to give it to you for your new outfit. Oh, thanks, Uncle Ben. I sure won't lose this one. <laughs> Kid of yours is just full of tricks, ain't he? Oh, he's all right. Kind of hot tempered, though. Yeah, I noticed that. How's it going, Buck? Well, last month we sent off a road herd of 2,000 head, and at top prices, too. You've done a great job with the old bar, 20. I hope that uh, syndicate back in Kansas City appreciates it. The profit's all they care about. If anything goes wrong, They'd fire me as quick as they would a green hand. We used to do a lot of talking about owning a place of our own, you remember? Yeah, but that's still just a dream, Bill. Meanwhile, I'm needing a good line foreman. You want to take on the job? What are you asking fool questions for? I'm here, ain't I? <laughs> yeah, you're here. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting tired waiting for that hombre. When's he coming? All I know is that Pecos Jack said for us to meet him here on Thunder Mesa. Oh, well, what's the proposition this time? That's what he's coming to tell us. I don't like him. He's too polite. And a mite too quick with that sharp's rifle, isn't he? Well, he's got a deal for us. And I'm open for anything. Somebody coming. That's all right. It's only Pecos Jack. Climb down. Show him up. I don't like tangling with that Bar 20 outfit. Yes, sir. They're a hard bunch to meet up with. I know. Well, if you're yellow, I'll do my talking somewhere else. Well, how do you figure getting rid of the cows? I've got connections with a railroad construction camp. They'll buy, and no questions asked. We can herd them up Box Canyon. Put a road brand on them. I've even got a good brand figured out. You've got some right smart ideas, Jack. What do you think Meeker and Peters are going to do while we're rustling their cattle? Yeah, how oh, about that? that? I'll take care of that. They've had one run in over water rights. It's easy to keep the pot boiling once it's started. All you've got to do is to take orders. I'll do the rest. You need any help? I'll handle it myself until the fireworks start. Now, tonight, we'll take a bunch of the boys and... <laughs>
Meeker! Meeker! What's the matter? What's wrong? Somebody shot Riley. Well, get water and bandages. Well, how did it happen? Somebody stampeded the new herd over the cliff. Fifty head. Who did it? I didn't see. I, I was hit from behind and didn't know anything until Anthony picked me up and near the trail. It's my guess that the Bar 20 is trying to bluff you off the range. Well, it won't work. I don't scare easy. I'll give them all the fight they want. That ain't no way to treat a poor little calf. What'll its mama say? Its mama was one of the herd your gunmen sent over the cliff last night. Cliff? I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody at the Bar 20 knows. Cross my heart, ma'am. None of our outfit was out riding last night. Oh, I wish I knew what to think. Whatever you've been thinking up to now, ma'am, there's one thing I want you to know for certain. We're a pretty rough outfit over at the Bar 20. Have to be in a new country like this. But whatever fighting is done, is done out in the open. And nobody can say any different. Somehow, I'm beginning to believe you, Mr. Nelson. Not Mr. Nelson. Johnny. Johnny. You're sure sweet, miss. Maybe if I was to ride over tonight, Oh, no, I... please don't. Dad and Mr. Anthony are all upset about last night. I can soon put them straight. No, you mustn't. Besides, we're going to have a party. Well, I sure like parties. I can bring some posies from our West Meadow. They're mighty pretty now. Do you like this kind? Please, you must listen to me. If you come, there may be trouble. Oh, now, maybe that's right. Well, I'll see you again soon, Miss Meeker. Be nice to that poor little orphan. Goodbye, Mr. Cassidy. You see that, buddy? All right. Are you responsible for that man's death? Talk yourself out of that, Mr. Cassidy. I didn't kill your puncher, Meeker. I heard a shot and come to see. I don't believe you. Don't crowd me, Meeker. You bar 20 gunmen have been looking for trouble, and now you've got it. Point that gun, and one of you is a dead man. I'm following the storm through the tumbleweed and clover. I'm following the storm, and my kid all follows me. <laughs> Well, I'm waiting. You and your skulking ambushers. You got a lot of wrong ideas, Meeker. What are you doing up here? Oh, I heard a shot and I and thought... And smelled a fight. As lucky for you, I did. I guess that just about makes us even, Mr. Cassidy. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Say, I've got an idea there's something funny going on around here. You better steer wide of that Meeker outfit from now on. No, and them giving a nice party tonight, too. You stay away from there. They'll shoot you on sight. I'm following the stars through the tumbleweeds and clover. I'm following the stars and my pinto follows me. All right.
All night. How are you, Doc? Powerful thirsty. <laughs> we'll soon take care of that. That'll be fine. Yes, it's only that, I hope. I hope not. <laughs> hello, Miss Lee. Oh, hello. Happy Hi. birthday. Thank hello, you, Mr. Laker. There you are, Salem. Take good care of it. Give me a gun. I'll lie. Out and out murder, that's all. Poor old Curly. You know, I had the drop on Cassidy till that singing pot shooter poked his nose in. What happened to Curly? Shot. This afternoon. Oh, how awful. Who did it? One of the Bar 20 gunmen. But we're leaving it up. Dance, Miss Mary. I want to see Dad. Dad, isn't there some way you can end your quarrel with the Bar 20 before someone else is killed? No, dear, I'm sorry. They're the ones who declared war. I'm going to see it through to a finish. Use my authority water again, eh? Young fella, that cost me 48 cents in El Paso over a year ago. <laughs> hey, them's my boots. <laughs> oh, I won't hurt a miner so old. I'm just going dancing. Dancing? Get them all scuffed up. I'll slick them up when I get home. Well, don't forget to slick the heels up, too. Where's the kid off to? Dancing. Dancing? Yeah. Well, you darned old fool, why didn't you stop him? He's going to Makers. What? Come on, Red, let's get him. Sing your mother's old favorite for your daddy, will you? I'd love to. Folks, I have a surprise for you. Mary's going to sing. Ben Bolt. Evening, folks. I thought I recognized that voice. What do you want? I invited Mr. Nelson, Dad. You're not welcome, but... Uh... Let me have your hat. You won't need your gun, Mr. Nelson. He's looking for trouble. Oh, you shouldn't have come. I brought you them flowers from our west meadow. They're mighty pretty, ain't they? Don't see why we had to follow the brat. Sounds like he's doing all right. All right, go on home. Me, I'm staying till the party's over. Losing good sleep for no reason. Well, you were doing all right. Wish 
wish I had a drink. Why don't you go in and get one? Because I ain't no lunatic. Salem, it's lovely. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, make a wish and try to blow them out. <laughs> 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 You came here looking for trouble. You're going to get more than you bargained for. Ah, uh, you local hooks! I haven't told you. Curly was killed this afternoon by some prowling gunmen. It's more than a mere guess. It was Nelson who did it. Dad, you're not sure. Either him or Cassidy. What? It's a lie. We don't fight that way. Anybody got a rope? Let's string him up. Come on! Come on! We mustn't let this happen. There's nothing we can do about it now. It's the kid. Go around this way and start shooting. Be a ruckus. Ah, uh, that was nothing to worry about. We should have let him stretch your neck. Nah, I'd have got away. I got a good mind to go back and slap that foreman down again. Keep following your nose. Now, don't go giving me no orders. You heard me. Keep headed for the ranch house. I'm doing as I please. I can take care of myself. I proved that, didn't I? Oh. Hey, Bill, you're hurt. What's the matter, Bill? You darn fool. It's all your fault. Oh, it's Bill, just I... a scratch. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a blamed troublemaking fool. Oh, you're all right, kid. Just a scratch. Keep going. What are you doing, old lady? Hey, what are you doing out of bed? I'll tell you when you can get up. Now, if it hadn't been for your care, old timer, I mightn't have ever got up. Let me help you. Well, I can hop along by myself. Oh, hop along, Cassidy, that's me. You're a better man with one leg than the whole outfit put together. Red took the words right out of my mouth. Ah. Uh... Hey, somebody busted our dam, flooded the lower pasture, and drowned ten of our calves. That's a low-down trick. What are we going to do about it? Well, let's go to the Meekers and give them a little gun medicine. That'll cure them. Ah, uh, you better be sure first. Meeker's hasty and he's stubborn. But I don't see him sneaking around drowning cattle. But somebody did it. Yeah, maybe somebody promoting trouble. Might be the same hombre that shot Meeker's puncher. Hey, maybe you're right at that. We got to be ready for anything now. Say, Buck, is that old cabin still standing up on number three line? Oh, I reckon so. Why? I was just thinking. A man in that shack, if he was a good shot, could take care of the whole end of that valley. Brett, saddle up my horse, will you? I'm going to mosey up there and take a look around. Hey, are you sure you ought to be riding? Oh, I'm all right, barn a little hop. Oh, there ain't no sense you taking them chances. I'll take care for you. Go ahead, it? Red. Get his horse. Ah, that kid. Ow! Hi, Cassidy. What are you doing up here? I just kind of figured that a man, if he was a good shot, could hold the line from this cabin. You're all right, kid. How do you feel? Oh, a little limpy, but just as spry as ever. <sighs> 
Oh, it's all my doing, Bill. If I'd had any sense, I'd have... Oh, forget it, kid. Forget it. I can hop along with the best of them. Somebody just wrecked the dam. Well, that's why I hightailed it up here. You got any ideas about who done it? Sure. I found this shovel up there with a Mika brand on it. H2. I'd like to get a shot at that skunk. I'm just wondering if this wasn't planted for us to find. But it must have been one of the Meeker outfit that used it. Maybe. And maybe not. Might have been somebody who wants to keep us and Meeker fighting. Let's give him a hint. We ain't too busy to watch the line. Now take it easy, kid. We're just warning him. like they took the hint. You stay here and watch the shack, and don't leave it for anything. I won't. I know you're man enough to take care of the job. Leave it to me. We've got them dead to rights this time, Mr. Meeker. They tried to kill us. I recognize Nelson and Cassidy. Take a look at this hat. I've got to have that belly. Our trick is dry. As long as they have a man in that line cabin, the valley is theirs. Well, drive them out. Take half a dozen men. A dose of dynamite would do the trick easier. You can't do that, Dad. It would be murder. They've earned it. Dad, this can't go on. Why can't you buy the water rights from Mr. Peters? Because they're not his. He's not going to keep me from that water. Get that dynamite. I know how to get the cabin without hurting anyone. Please, Dad, I... Following the stars through the tumbleweeds and clover. I'm following the stars and my pinnow follows me. I roam the wild prairie cause I was born a rover. I live a life that's free. So I'm following the stars, I always cut them. Better stay where you are, Miss Mary. I want to speak to you. You better go back. Come here. I've got something to tell you. I can't do it. Got orders not to. Mary. You hurt? Mary, Mary. I'll kill that ornery horse. Run along home, Romeo, before we start shooting. Kind of tricky, ain't you? Let me go. Let me go. Get on. There was 300 head here yesterday. And not one today. Look at here. Dead cat. A Mika brand and a bar 20 year notch. Well, this is beginning to make sense. You reckon Meeker's the one that's been. No, Meeker ain't no rustler. Oh, you mean there's someone else lifting the cattle and trying to throw the blame on Meeker? Did you figure that out all by yourself? Well, I'll be hanged for a horse thief. 
No doubt about that, but in the meanwhile, skin this critter, will you? I want to take a look around. Oh. I thought I could trust you, kid. Why aren't you up in that shack? Because she's a blasted, tricky little coyote. Oh, now wait a minute, kid. That's pretty wild talk about a lady. I'm talking truth. She came up there and tricked me out of the line cabin so her paws men could grab it. I'm sorry I didn't let them blow you out of there. Say, you're liable to get spanked if you keep on. You shouldn't be plumb grateful, miss. Nah, uh, somebody's always keeping me from being killed. Where you headed? I'm taking her back to the bar 20. I figure her pa would be mighty happy to trade the shack for her. We don't make war on women, Johnny. Let her go. This is my play. She goes with me. Let go of them reins. You keep out of this, Bill. Let go of them reins, Johnny. You keep out of this. Come on, Bill, shoot. I got it coming. Shoot. You better go home, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Cassidy. Gee, Bill, I I'm a plumb fool. I never will learn. The line shack don't matter now, Johnny. We got something more important to worry over. If, if I'd have been in your shoes, I'd have taken a shot. I wonder who did put Meeker's outfit up to taking that cabin. I I guess you're right, Bill, about needing to t someone to teach me manners. Oh, you're all right, kid. Gee, Bill, I I'll try to make it up to you. A rustler's got our whole West Canyon herd last night. You sure it wasn't Meeker done it? No. Nope. The gent that's been pot shooting Digging at the dam and getting playful in general is in cahoots with an organized band of cow thieves. Well, who do you reckon it is? I ain't right sure yet, Johnny. But I aim to do some trailing. Pronto. There's plenty of time to argue over the line with Meeker. Our play is to track down them rustlers. I bet old Uncle Ben's got something for us. Hi, boy. Oh, Ben. I was poking around among them hides at the railroad camp, Hoppy. Most of them's carrying a brand I never see you for. It's uh, HQQ. Phew! You sure been among them. Too bad the kid done took all your Florida water. Yeah. Little dash of it wouldn't hurt you any. Buck, I think I got the answer. Take a look at this. Now look. Bar, two, Oh, now that's our brand. Now here's what they done. Made an H out of the bar, a Q out of the two, and a Q out of the O. Now here's Meeker. H, two. H, two, they made a Q out of the two and added a Q. Hoppy, you're right. You better have a little peaceable powwow with him. Right off. All right, you come with me and we'll pick Johnny up at number five. Oh, wait a minute, Hoppy. You face trouble brewing, I'm going. Ah, uh, you better rest up and take care of things here. Oh, that ain't no way to treat me. Darn it, it's, oh. it's a darn shame, that's what it is. Anybody think I was a baby? Ah, listen, Uncle Ben, there ain't anybody I'd rather have along in a good stiff fight, but this is just trailing. Besides, uh... Buck will need you to back his play with Meeker. Hoppy's right, then. Well, in that case, so long, Hoppy. Good night. Two hundred and fifteen steers at twelve dollars a head. Two hundred and fifteen steers at twelve dollars a head. Turning one. 
你打死你太过那个，哎呀，这老金枪我打死你啊！我干你的这个样，你太了。<laughs> what kind of a fit is Salem throwing now? I I warned you, Peters, to keep off my land. I got something very important to show you. Don't lose that firecracker and hand me that hide. Did you ever see that before? HQQ. No, where'd you get it? At a railroad construction camp. Did you ever sell them any cattle for food? Never. Neither did I. Let me show you something. H2. That's your brand. Or? 20. That's my brand. Yeah. Now look. Well, I'll be. It's not our doing. I'd have thought so. We'd have come here shooting. Do you mean to say why we've been arguing and scrapping over water rights, a gang of cattle thieves, and making fools out of both of us? That's right, Dad. Yeah. The rustlers have been playing both ends against the middle. Peters, it's time you and I got together and started a little cleaning up. You're right. I'll get back to the ranch and get my men together. Hey, how about me finding Happy and. Tell him that Meeker's coming in with us. Oh, where do you expect to find it? When there's trouble brewing, Hoppy and me always find each other. Why, you darn fool, didn't I learn you and Hoppy all you know about trading? All right. I reckon Hoppy can take care of you. You ain't never heard me bawling for help yet, have you? Here, yeah. you Anthony, this here calf's carrying the rustler brand in your earmark. What? Yeah, they must pass this way. Thunder Macy. By cracky, why didn't I think of that afore? That's where them rustlers is hanging out. Gosh, you're right. You better ride back to bar 20 and get Peters. We'll smoke those rustlers out right now. That's a ticket. And will I have the laugh on hopping the boys? <laughs> Them looking for the wrestlers hide out for a week, and me find it fussed off. <laughs> sure. Get you too. I guess you won't do any more talking about Thunder Mesa. Hey, Red, that grub ready yet? Any minute now. Wait a minute. Listen. 
I didn't hear nothing. I could have swore I heard Uncle Ben call my name. Where's she going? <laughs> From Loco, I guess. Didn't have a chance, did you, old timer? Follow your stars and peace, old timer. <laughs> steer them the other way. It's too late for that, Jack. Looks like they know what they're doing. Besides, we'd never make it to our horses in time. That's a big bunch to try to hold off. Well, what are you worrying about? There's only one way up here, and we've got that well covered. I thought you were supposed to be smart. You sure must have left a plain trail. The old man didn't talk. I wouldn't be in your boots and Cassidy catches up with you. Why, that old man? He was just like a father to him. Well, ain't that too bad? Yeah, for you. Come on, come on. We've got no time for arguing. Have you got the trail up all covered? They ain't getting up here unless they got wings. Hey, get in,
Water's fine. You darn fool. What you trying to do? Drown me? I hope you get pneumonia, you red-headed galoot. Jack Anthony, only I ain't seen him. I've been wondering about him. Any sign of another trail to the top? Nope, the opposite sides of the rock cliff, straight up 100 feet. I was sure that was the only way up. Can you rush him? No, then pick us off one at a time. Tell the boys to concentrate their fire at the top of the trail. Right. Governmental Ben is up on that mesa, and I'm going after him. Whatever you're cooking up, I'm with you, Bill. Good boy. Wilson, go tell Nigger to charge a foot of the trail. Let's drown on the other side where the rocks go straight up. A fella might get a toehold with a rope, and we got plenty of rope. Let's go. Over there and fight. They're coming up the trail. Ah, uh, he's afraid Cassidy will get him. Shut up, Crystal. Get over there and fight, both of you. Go on. Find that skunk? I will. I'm going in there now. They'll drop you. Keep drawing their fire here. I'll go around behind them. carries a shark's rifle. Try and find out. Fresco. Take these two outside and get three ropes ready. Get along. Move along, you two. Bill. Don't let him hang me. Which one of this outfit carries a shark's rifle? Pecos Jack. Who? Meeker's foreman.
That's what it says in the book. Whatever measure you give out, that same measure shall be given out to you. Johnny, have you made any plans? I mean, you don't want to go on just being a cowpuncher, do you? Of course not. I'm going to have my own place someday. A fella can do a lot of things Dad with... Dad needs a new foreman, Johnny. I thought maybe you... I'll talk to him, Mary. Fast and hard. And sorry we ain't going to be neighbors much longer, Mika. But I'm buying a ranch up in Wyoming. Red and Cassidy are on their way up there to look it over now. Oh, you don't have to talk to Dad right now, Johnny. Wait until later. Red and Hoppy never told me they was going away. Well, Cassidy asked us not to. He said where he was going, there might be a lot of trouble, and he'd be too busy with that to take care of you. Oh, he did, did he? Johnny! Look, Miss Mary, I gotta hurry. Johnny! Johnny! I'll be seeing you! Kinda hated to dig out without telling the kid goodbye. Oh, he'll get along all right. Yippee! Where are you headed? So you thought you'd leave me behind, eh? What about the Meeker gal? Uh, I'll be riding back this way someday. Meantime, we have to play nursemaid. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. I'm following the stars through the clouds. I'm following. 